Another WTVC legend whom some of you will never forget, Tommy Reynolds, also known as Dr. Shock. When Tommy died in January of 2008 in Huntsville, Alabama, we received phone calls and emails from so many fans wanting to share their memories. <laughs> Those haunting sounds were very familiar in the early 70s. And we'd always pull out the sofa bed and we'd get popcorn and, and uh, always be, you know, ready for the scary movie and watching Dr. Shock and Ding Bat. We loved it. Since it was difficult to sell old horror movies on a Saturday night, Tommy Reynolds, who was the program director at the time, came up with an idea. Tommy was a horror fan from the word go, imitating Dracula and Frankenstein. So he created a whole new persona, and Shock Theater was born. Art director Dan East created the Dingbat character, but there were other characters that followed and frequently appeared with Tommy during the commercial breaks. I was standing there watching him tape there in the studio and uh, smoking a cigarette. And which you could do then, and he was, he was being all spooky, you know, this stuff. And I started uh, blowing uh, smoke you know, real slowly across the lens of the, of the camera and giving some special effects, and, and uh, it uh, I, I actually looked pretty good. <laughs> Here's something else you might not know about Tommy Reynolds. I remember Tommy as the, the man who hired me in 1974. He was program director here at News Channel 9, and I was working in Radio WDOD. Bill McAfee was doing sports, wanted off the 11 o'clock show so he could spend more time with his family. So Tommy called. So I started doing sports at 6 and 11, and, and it was thanks to Tommy, or Dr. Shock, as we lovingly called him. Tommy really left an indelible impression on Chattanooga television with those characters. What do you think about that, Shock?